Madam Media, welcome to the uh, Orlando Pirates and Sins Running Galaxy Post Match Conference for the CAF Champions League second round, second preliminary round, second round. We are joined by the away team head coach, Coach Juan Thank you. Um, thank you. Coach, if you can just please uh, give us a brief summary of the match from your perspective. Um, thank you very much and good evening to all the members of media. Uh, Thank you. Um, congratulations to Orlando Pirates um, for qualifying for the group stage uh, of the CAF Champions League. I think we did everything in our power to make sure that we, we turned things around. We gave the same performance we gave today when we were home. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. I think uh, uh, if, if one would ask what is it that we're supposed to do to win? I would say, really, I think everything that we, one that one, anyone that wants to win uh, would have done. I think we have tried everything. Uh, we came here. We never s s sat back. We played. We, we gave everything. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. But uh, uh, there's always uh, a room for improvement, and you take lessons from every game. I think as much as we are disappointed with the results, but I'm very proud of the performance that the, the, the team has given. Thank you, Coach. Just been on with Brandon Roby Mike. Please identify yourself as well as the media company represented by us to ask you any questions. Coach, uh, from the Desky Times, um, after the highs of being in the Champions League group stages for a couple of seasons, now uh, joining, uh, how does this feel knowing that you, you might go into that? Oh, it must be a, it's the start of the season and obviously something that you're looking forward to. Like, how do you look ahead for the rest of the season and get these players also to realign their goals? And yeah, I think um, we, we are disappointed that we are not going to be part of the group stages this time around. But um, last season it was Orlando Pirates who did not get an opportunity to go to the group stages and we celebrated and I think we took lessons from qualifying and again today we are the ones that are not going through to the group stages. We take lessons again and we go back and try to, to make sure that we motivate and improve because I think one, in a game of football for you to win matches you must score goals. Uh, it doesn't matter how long you keep the ball, how well you play, how many chances are you creating. But if, they, if you don't hit the back of the net, then it doesn't count. So I think how we played, really we played well, but I think the only part that maybe one would be disappointed with is uh, not converting our chances. And like I'm saying, um, as, as, as a team that is growing, uh, sometimes we need to take a step back and analyze and say, why didn't we qualify this time around? Uh, there are a lot of factors that one will look into. Um, one of the things that I think really contributed, I think um, we, 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 we allowed uh, maybe goals that were considered towards the critical phase of the match, which are some of the lessons that are tactical, which allows us as coaches to go back and work on them and try to improve our performance. I strongly believe that uh, we'll go back home, prepare ourselves and give uh, the best uh, in, the, in the league. Good evening, coach. Uh, well, I think you really put in a good performance here today. I mean, the way that you kept position was, was uh, very inspiring. Uh, but from your side, what are the lessons that you take from this on a pirate side and any uh, particular players in person that you think really did well for the pirates? Just your lessons uh, from the pirates players, from the pirates team that you can use for the rest of the season in Botswana? Um, I think one, uh, yes, we kept the ball well. But I think one lesson that maybe one took from the, the Orlando Pirates team is the patience. Uh, there are moments where they were under pressure, but you would still see them uh, behaving in a proper way to say, Don't, let's not rush, let's not commit ourselves too early. And these are elements that say only a group of individuals who are maturing as, as, as professionals will understand the importance of being patient. And I think that's one element that they, they, they did right. Secondly, I think we tested them with so many uh, tactical elements. 
Uh, and in some situations, you would see them reacting to what we are doing in a proper way in terms of saying, can we, can we maybe try to drop deep if you don't understand what the opponents are bringing and which is something that they were doing. Secondly, I think uh, uh, they know that they are quick and they, they, they want to play into their strength. Uh, they want to keep that speed going. And I think if one has to maybe give uh, one play, I think that central pairing of Sasani and uh, Nda, I think for me, uh, is doing, is, they're, they're doing well for, for the team. And um, uh, they give a very good balance. And they know when to take risks and when to play the ball away. So, so it, it takes, it takes uh, a special talent to identify certain moments in a game. And I think that's one part that I've seen with them. But uh, honestly speaking, if one has to talk about joining Galaxy, I think I'm very proud of the whole team, even those that came in as substitutes. So for me, as much as I will have to give credit to the opponents, but I really need to give credit to our boys because I think at some point I was like, I was even surprised to say, is it us really keeping the ball in Orlando in this manner? Then it says we are growing as a team and I'm very proud. Uh, thank you, uh, partner Kush, um, on the result, very layer from the CBC. <coughs> Just still on Orlando Pirates, you said something um, yesterday that the difference with maybe this Orlando Pirates that we could see is the hunger, and, and I'm sure it's something that we saw um, over this, these two legs. But also, I'm going to still again, you being a South African and also someone who was coaching uh, in the group stages last year, what, what do you think it means for the PSL? to again have um, two big teams like Sundowns and Orlando Pirates uh, in the local group stages? To be honest, I think uh, um, these are signs of stability in the league when you have uh, two teams in the group stages of the CAF Champions League. Because I think uh, South African football or the Premier League is regarded as one of the best leagues in the, in the continent. And uh, if we only get one team always in the group stages, it does not really give a, a good reflection of the, this good league that we are talking about. And I think uh, Orlando Pirates being part of the, the group stages, I think it will also help Bafana Bafana, because for me, uh, the contribution of Mamelodi Sundowns with the experience they have gained in the continent, uh, it has helped Bafana Bafana. And I think Orlando Pirates is one of the teams that always uh, releases or produce players for Bafana. It will be very important for them to go and compete at that stage uh, so that at least uh, the players, because the good thing about Pirates, they have about 60% of young players, which for me, I'll say, uh, it, it will help the country uh, if they are being given the responsibility to go play. But obviously, um, I think it's about five years that Pirates have not been qualifying for the group stages. So obviously, uh, I know that always the, 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 the ambition is to go into the knockout stages and do all of that. But I always say it is very important for us to be patient with, with the process and understand that uh, it might, there are teams that have established themselves within the Champions League. So being patient with the current group, it can help them to qualify again maybe next year uh, if maybe they don't face joining Galaxy next year. So, but uh, honestly speaking, I think it will help the, the country to, to produce more players for Bafana and with a bit of uh, international experience. Uh, coach, on the result, uh, Coach, your domestic season is, is yet to commence. Only a few of your players have been playing competitive matches, national team stuff. Um, Pirates, on the other hand, have been playing on a, on a regular basis for some, for some weeks now. How much of that match fitness do you attribute to, to your not qualifying uh, this, this time around? Um, when you are in a jungle and uh, you struggle to find water, you make means to try and uh, find something that will help you to release the thirst. And I think uh, with us, it's the same thing. We are not going to complain about having less uh, minutes or less um, competitive uh, matches because I think with Orlando Pirates and uh, the advantage was what I was talking about, the, the type of a presence they had, 
and the number of games they played. So with us, I think I'm very happy with what we got, uh, the performance we gave. And uh, I think we have, we have taught our team not to have excuses. And I think they're doing exactly that. So for me, I think Orlando Pirates took advantage of whatever minutes, confidence, cohesion, consistency. And with us, I think we have learned and we have also done our best despite all the challenges. Coach, yesterday you did speak that uh, you went to Morocco, you got the result, you got you were going to Dar es Salaam, you got the result. Coming to South Africa, comparing the two performances now, quite unfortunate that you never got the results today. You know, what when you look at all those scenarios uh, tonight, what would you say, you know, uh, it is wrong in not uh, replicating these other performances for you to get the result? I, I think like like I said, um, I think we, we, we gave a good performance again. But look, you were playing against a team that had already scored two goals, and uh, they had played on Wednesday. So they had a choice of, of playing maybe open in the game. But if you want to compare the Otto who was playing against the cheaper, today he was not going. Maybe because he knew that we'll be putting more pressure, trying to get behind him as quick as possible. Same applies with Van, 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 Van Royen on the right. It was the same thing. He did not want to go too much forward because they wanted to keep the back four. So for me, I'll say uh, we played against a team not really defensive, but I think they, 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 they wanted to play on, 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 on moments. And for them to play on moments, they had to wait for us to commit and try to get behind us. That's what I'm saying. I'm very proud of my team because I think uh, when you play against Orlando Pirates, that is very deadly on counter. Uh, and you still manage to set up a very good uh, rest defense and you still try to win the ball immediately after losing it. It means it means we had prepared well. It's just unfortunate that I think for me, when you look at the, the performance we gave today and the performance we gave in Botswana, uh, one would say, uh, had we scored goals, maybe things could have been different. But at the same time, you say, yes, we didn't score goals, but what are the lessons? What, have, what can we pick from this game? One of the things that we can pick from this game is that we are very brave. We can play under pressure and, and, and no stage in, in the game of football that really intimidates our boys because I think coming here uh, with the supporters, you understand that uh, not everybody survives them. But we have tried our best up to the 90th minute. Just unfortunately that football is football. We make one mistake and lose the game. Final question. Any takers? Going once, going twice. Coach, thank you very much for your time and safe travels going back to the side. Thank you very much and congratulations. All the best coach. Thank you, Calibo.